Welcome to the Theracin Clinical Simulator for Pharmacy. First, start by logging in with your student ID and password. Once you've entered that, that information, click the Login button. This will take you to the waiting room. The patient waiting room shows you a list of patients, their images, current status, and profile. Their status can be not started, in progress, needs more attention, or completed. When you're ready to begin a case, select the Begin Case button. When beginning a case, you'll start on the Introduction tab. Along the top, you'll see History, Interview, View Tests, Graphs, Therapy Management, and Interventions. This is your basic navigation through the simulation. The Introduction tab contains information about the patient from today's visit, including demographics, chief complaint, current medications, history of present illness, social and family history, as well as physical exam notes. Throughout the simulation, there are static tabs that provide you with the patient demographic data, current conditions for that patient, their medications and allergies, and their vital signs. The patient history page provides information about the patient's previous clinical visits, including clinic notes, conditions and diagnosis, as well as drug history. Your view in both conditions and diagnosis and drug history can be modified by clicking the arrows next to start, stop, begin, and end. The interview tab provides information gained from the history and introduction for the patient. Simply click on a question to receive a response. On the View Test tab, you can view both new and historical test results. Simply click on the View button and it will provide you with the test results. To view new tests, click on that link. The tests available for that day are listed. Select the View button and you'll be given the results of that test. Clinical guidance will populate in the right-hand tab. The Grass tab allows you to map historical and current lab tests against vital signs to look for trends in the patient history. It also allows you to see current medications and past medications along with those trends. The first time you select the Therapy Management tab, you'll be prompted to continue or discontinue existing therapies. You can select all therapies or individual therapies and choose to continue or discontinue. Once you've chosen which therapies you'd like to continue, you can add new therapies. There are different ways to do this. You can either do this by showing an A to Z list of drugs, a categorical list of drugs, or you can just type in the name of the drug that you would like to prescribe. At this point, you would choose the dose, frequency, and route of the drug as well. If you need help with dosing, you can look up dose, which provides you information in the drug insert. The Interventions tab allows you to add interventions for specific drugs. Choose Drug DTP or Drug Recommendation to add DTPs and recommendations to drugs. Once you have completed making your choices, choose the Add Interventions button at the bottom of the box, and these will attach these to the drug. Additionally, you can add case recommendations simply by choosing Education Adherence, where you can attach case-specific DTPs and recommendations for the overall case rather than to specific drugs. When you have finished your work, choose End Session. Here, you can choose to continue working or end the session. If you are unsure of your choices you have made, please choose Continue Working at this point. When you choose End Session, you will be taken to the final page of the simulator where you can see the choices that you have made as well as information about the case. Closing Remarks provides a case summary that discusses the decision points specific to that patient. 
Performance Analysis provides a record of all the decision points that you made in the simulation with their icons and clinical guidance attached. You can also see citations that are incorporated into the clinical guidance here. The case objectives list the competencies associated with this particular case. While you may be able to pass the simulation, you may not meet all case objectives. The literature review provides information about the case in general. The continue button takes you back to the waiting room. If you see review case, you have passed the simulation. If you see a continue button, it means that more work is required to pass the simulation.